everybody, it's Texas Tiger Diggs, and I guess when you thought I had stopped buying the oddball stuff, it's been a while since I've had a a uh, a digger uh, opening. You know, basically I pretty much run through the gamut of the uh, of the uh, survival shovels, and and I found some good ones. Good some I some I've used on digs, and some I've uh, some I've regifted. But I did see this one, and it kind of stood out and looked interesting, so. I decided I would get it, and as you can tell from the packing, it probably came directly from China, and it did. You know, uh, so many of these are being manufactured in China now. Like I said, if you want to avoid Chinese goods, you better stay out of the electronic stores, etc. Because uh, Apple is a big player out there. So, if you like your Apple phone or Apple Watch or Apple whatever the heck else they come out with, chances are they're being made in China. Okay, let's pop this open and let's take a look. Alright. Not exactly heavy duty pack, but it should be an all steel piece, so it's not like it's probably going to break. And this one is called the Wolf Thorn, which I've just now seen that name, of course. Uh, the name you buy it under the name on the box or can, can sometimes be totally different things. And uh, let's pop this out. It, I liked it because it looked good and it and it uh, I think it gave a measurement of about a foot. And to me that's right in digger range. I told you I try not to get anything that that is a uh, obviously uh, something that might uh, bring the attention of a. Uh, of uh, representatives in the parks that I detect, etc. So, uh, this is interesting to get into here. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I try not to get something too blazingly obvious here. Okay. Now, one thing I like about this is most of the shovels I've got have got various levels you can set on, but this one actually has six levels of of uh, of uh, of uh, angle or degree that you can put it in and I thought that was kind of unusual so here we go oh yeah this is the right size and uh, it said it would be about a foot and it, it did so I did I did actually make a purchase the purchase I wanted to make I do occasionally buy things it, it's not the descriptions aren't bad sometimes my perception of the measurements aren't good but this is very good and this is definitely digger size pop this off. I like this. It's sharp, not extraordinarily sharp, but sharp enough to get the job done. Uh, and pretty pretty neat looking. And you know I hate to say this, but you know the fact that it's pretty neat looking is a nice is a nice little addition here. Yeah, let's see, let's take a little look here. It's pretty pretty cool here. So let me take a It should actually also flick down, so let's take a real close look at this thing. I do like the way it's shaped. So let me uh mess with it around a little bit and we'll see what we can get it to do here. Get the angles, etc. Unfortunately I have to take a look at the instructions every now and then. I'm a guy, we don't do that often, but when we gotta do it, we gotta do it. All right, I figured out how to do it. Now, when I think I knew how to do it, I just want a confirmation. There's a little button here on the side, so it's not the normal flip in, flip out. You actually push the button in and you position it. Oh, this is really cool. You can position it in in any one of a bunch of different angles. From here, what use that would be unless you're in a fight? I wouldn't know. To here, then you've almost got a pick type apparatus which is which is nice on the soil we've got around here and then you've got here and here and straight up so that's pretty cool now that is definitely more digger than shovel and that would that will fit comfortably in any of my bags including the smaller ones everything but my smallest this would work in just perfectly so I've really got no complaints in the way this looks. You know, durability and all the other things are something you have to find out over time. But 
it's pretty cool and then that's that's flattened down so you can actually stick it in and have it pretty much in its shortest possible configuration hey guys I like this and it's a little bit unique compared to some of the other shovels I've got so I really do like this I think I think I made a good purchase here can't really find much wrong with it in any case uh that is uh the uh let me look at the book box again because it's the wolf thorn hunter's shovel city hunter guard tool you do know that a lot of these uh, of the chinese manufacturers basically use uh, direct english translations of uh, of whatever chinese uh, 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 term it is and sometimes the idioms don't translate well so it look it looks a little it looks a little broken because it's help with to wilderness survival improves defensive stances preparations and traps so uh, it looks like somebody used a computer to just do a, a straight uh, a straight generation of uh, Chinese to English uh, so in any case uh, that will be uh, it for this one uh, and uh, I'll be getting it out in the field pretty soon and we'll see it looks like it might work well in our incredibly uh, 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 solid and hard soil with these um, massively hot days. In any case, this is Texas Tiger Digs with a new shovel. And uh, I think next to the uh, Turning Point shovel, uh, this might be a comparable and uh, might be a, uh, a runner from one of my most favorite uh, digger size shovels. In any case, I will talk to you later and you have a wonderful day.